Hi everyone, I hope you're well. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you some of the new features of Adobe Photoshop 2021, some of which are pretty crazy. If you're new to my channel, I'm Neil, a wedding photographer based in the UK. My channel is aimed at helping you to become the best wedding photographer that you can be. And I do that by giving you wedding photography advice and tips, as well as showing you how I take some of my favorite creative wedding photographs. Now, most of the videos on my channel are focused on actual shooting and how I take my photographs. I normally save my editing tutorials for my Patreon. Plus, to be honest, I use Lightroom for virtually all my editing anyway. I don't tend to use Photoshop very much, but <laughs> having had a quick play with Photoshop 2021 this evening, I had to make this video to show you some of the new features because some of them are, say, pretty crazy. So the first new feature of Photoshop 2021, which I can actually see being extremely useful, is just how crazy accurate the selection tool now is. So let's open up Photoshop 2021. So this is a photograph of my friend Beth. Now to make a selection, what we now do is come over to this quick selection tool here. And without me even selecting around Beth, what I can now do is just click over here, select subject, and using Photoshop's artificial intelligence, Photoshop has already made a really, really good selection around Beth there. So what I can now do is copy that selection, paste and make a new layer, drag over to the side and let's just look closer in at just how good that selection is. In particular, when we look around the edges of Beth's hair, it is amazing just how accurate that selection is. So let's just delete that layer and just do that again because another really nice feature is if we just make that same selection, so select subject. Again, I don't even need to manually go around Beth anymore. If we then click on select and mask, we then have the, the option up here to click on this button, refine hair, which is gonna make the area around Beth's hair even more accurate. So let's just okay that. Let's paste as a new layer and let's zoom in now. Look at that, how accurate that is around the hair there. That is a huge improvement and it is gonna be such a time saver if we ever want to do anything like this. I mean, I would defy anyone to be able to tell which was the original and which is the uh, the new layer. It is crazy good. So this is a photograph that I took recently at Faye and Woody's wedding. So let's just make that same selection again. So select subject. Again, I'm not having to manually do this. It's all done automatic now. Let's copy and paste again. Move over here and let's just zoom in. Again, so, so accurate, that selection. What it also means that I can do, if I would want to do this, is click on background. Again, let's make that selection, and then let's press delete. So Content Aware Fill is going to basically get rid of Faye and Woody here. And we can now use a clone stamp tool just to clean up that a little bit, because what's really crazy is by doing this, you can see how quick this is. This is all obviously just in, in real time. I can then, because this fame Woody here is a selection, is a new layer, we can then move them around. So if in the original composition I've, I thought as though I wanted to move them, then I can now do that pretty quickly, which again is, is like crazy technology. Now, I think it's important to point out at this point that just because we can change and manipulate photographs like this, does it mean that we should? It's a really fascinating question because having the ability to change reality gives us a huge amount of control over the end image. As photographers, we will have different opinions as to what we should or shouldn't change when it comes to editing. And with Photoshop 2021 and all these new features, we have never had so much ability to change an image when we are editing. But should we do that? Is it cheating? <laughs> Is it wrong? That's not really for me to say. Another feature of Photoshop 2021 which asks that question is the ability that we now have to replace the sky. So let's go back into Photoshop. So this is just a bog standard photograph of a wedding venue as it was, but what we can now do is go to edit and sky replacement and Photoshop is going to literally replace that sky. And as you can see, it does so really, really well in my opinion. 
I mean, this, this area behind the trees is very, very accurate. And to my knowledge, I mean, I'm no expert when it comes to Photoshop, but that would have been virtually impossible to do before this version of Photoshop. And we can actually choose some other skies. Now, whether we should do this is a complete different question, as I mentioned earlier. To me, to be honest, it's, it's going a little bit too far. I, I never want to really change reality. The, what I'm trying to do when it comes to my photography is capture reality, not really change reality. It's not something that really sits well with me at all, to be honest. But the interesting thing is that we now can do this. So let's just choose another image. We'll go with this one. And let's do the same thing again. So edit, replace sky. And let's see what we do here. Again, I think the, the trick with everything like this would be to choose one that was pretty accurate to begin with. So yeah, that would be a good example. Maybe even this one. Yeah, and again, I would almost defy anyone to be able to tell that that sky is fake. Now, the other thing which I believe you can do as well is upload your own photographs to that sky replacement panel. So if you're ever out and about with your camera and you see a sky that you like, you can take a photograph of that sky and upload it to Photoshop and then insert it into future or past photographs. It's, it's crazy really when you think about it. But yeah, so that's with the fake sky and that's how it was originally. Now, the last new feature which I'm going to talk about, and it's probably loads, but this is the one that I've been made aware of, is this one, which is up in the filter menu, and it's these, the neural filters. Now, before we open those, what we're looking at here on the screen is a straight out of camera JPEG. This is actually the finished, edited version of this image. But what I'm just gonna do here is just make a quick adjustment to the levels. So let's now go to filter, neural filters here and we've got skin smoothing. I don't tend to use skin smoothing very much but we can see here, let's just even push these up, slides up a little bit more and Demi doesn't really need it, Demi the model here. But let's just okay that and let's just see what that has done. So that's the new skin smoothing tool in Photoshop 2021. Now just in case you weren't already aware, there's actually already a few features within Photoshop which allows us to change the makeup of somebody's face. Again, I don't do this because I don't doesn't really sit well with me. But just to show you how you do that, in filter and then liquify, we can change eye sizes. Let's just zoom in a little bit so you can see this. We can change jaw lines. This is not a new feature. This was already in the previous version of Photoshop. But it's just to show you in case you weren't aware what options are there within Photoshop. As I keep on saying, this is not something that I use because it just doesn't sit very well with me at all. But it's there. But what we can now do by going up to filter, neural filters and over here now these are in beta at the moment but if we click on sample portrait let's just move demi there and click on be happy now the processing at the moment is done is not done local on the computer it's done in the cloud so it just takes that little bit of time but what we'll see is and this this is unbelievable really it's now made demi smile in a very scary way i have to say but the technology to be able to do that is unbelievable so let's make Demi look surprised. I'm sorry, Demi, if you're watching this. I'm really sorry for doing this. It's just to demonstrate the new Photoshop. There, there's a very surprised Demi. I think Demi would be surprised if she saw this picture. Let's make her angry now. As I keep on saying, I don't know when you would ever use these, but it's just interesting to know that they're there. But then you can also increase the age. Again, Demi's not gonna thank me for this. Let's change the hair thickness. So it's pretty crazy stuff. Let's just okay that. So let's just do the same now on this photograph of Beth. I, again, I need to apologize Beth to you for doing this because I don't think it's gonna be very flattering. We'll do the same thing again. Let's make Beth a little bit older. I would do this on a photograph of myself, I absolutely promise, but I don't actually have any. <laughs> there you go, Beth, there's you. I think as a 40 year old, although maybe a little bit older. Again, Beth is not gonna thank me for this. But the ability to be able to do this is crazy. Let's make her hair a bit thicker. Let's also try and change the direction. It blows my mind that this is even an option. It makes you think, where will we be in a few years? Look at that. 
Again, sorry Beth, please work with me again. It is nothing personal. Let's make Beth surprised. Again, she would be surprised if she saw this, I'm sure. If it helps Beth, you look pretty good as a 50 year old. So that is some of the new features of Photoshop 2021. How many we'll end up using or how many you'll end up using, I don't know. For me, I can't really see me using very many of these. Apart from the selection tool, that is genuinely really useful. And maybe the skin smoothing every now and again, if that's something that you'd like to do. The other features, I don't know whether they'll ever be used, but it's interesting that it's there. And it does make you think, where will this technology end up in the future? So as always, I hope you've enjoyed this video and found it useful. If you have enjoyed this video, I'd really appreciate it if you could please leave a like on the video and also maybe consider subscribing to my channel for more videos like this in the future. So thank you very much again for watching and I will see you next time.